All right, we got her fired up. That's the very first 30 seconds of the table running. Got bubbles in here that you definitely got to get out when you start it up. Same with that one. But looks pretty good, pretty level. Didn't have to adjust anything. And uh, what better way to break it in than to do what I failed to dry pan. So we have a gram and a half. I actually know exactly how much is in here. Um, and I'm gonna run all of this on the Miller table. Uh, it says to let it run for like 10 minutes to get all these little bubbles out up in here. See that little bubble that's coming out? And I need to add a surfactant in here as well. But we're sleuthing indoors, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So uh, while we wait for this to, it says here in the instructions, which are pretty easy to, man, my birds are apparently wanting to talk more than me. Uh, which it's very clear and concise. Use the brush, paint the table bed, surface with jet dryer, liquid soap and water. Plug it in, let it run for 10 minutes before using. The bubbles on the bed will disappear. If not, replace the water in the tub with fresh water and add two more, two to four more drops. Okay? I didn't follow them completely like an idiot. But uh, I'll make sure it's clean and scrubbed off. Seems pretty good. All right, I guess my birds want to talk to you guys. Let's, let's go meet the birds while we wait for this thing. This one here is Lucy. Hi, Lucy. This one here is Drake. What's up, Drake? This little Spitfire is Nova. Oh, Nova. Yeah. And this one here is Sunny. Huh. Say hi, Sunny. All right. Wow. I see. That's crazy. Hold on a second. That is insane. You guys can't see anything. It's so green.
This is a really good shot of how this thing is exchanging. You just see the gold just lift up, black sands go out, the gold drops and sticks. You know, that super fine stuff.
All right, so uh, we ran that. The gold's drying up, and uh, I'll give you guys my overall impression. Uh, first off, I'd like to say that I actually really never wanted to get a Miller table totally, uh, and that's just from some bad experiences from a vendor that was selling them on eBay. Um, but this one was from Amazon, and it's not from that company. Um, but regardless, I, I was I'm trying to trying to find something I can use to process super fine flour gold and stuff like that. Um, you know, beyond what I'm really capable of, and that's kind of what this dirt is. It's uh, it's I think some of the hardest pay dirt that exists, if not the hardest. Um, so I'm gonna definitely save these tailings and I'll run them through a couple more times at least because I know there's gold in there. It's just really really fine. Um, I think this thing was like 200 bucks. It came with everything you need to run. I didn't need a single thing besides water to water and I guess, you know, a surfactant or soap uh, to clean it and run it. Um, but besides that, it worked really well. It was easy to use. Um, but my goal isn't really to use it for pay dirt. It's really to, more to clean, clean bulk gold and stuff like that. So the the gold I'll be cleaning on this is going to be a little bit larger than in this pay dirt bag. So I think it's going to work perfect for what I need it for. Um, but there's some things I don't like about it. Um, the main thing is on the, the tray uh, where the, the, the vials screw in, there was a ton of gold on the inside of that. And I know that when I took it off, some dripped, in, uh, some dripped down into the, in the pay dirt. So that was the biggest drawback is the gold will actually stick into the vial holder. That was, uh, in my opinion, a pretty big drawback. Um, but besides that, everything else ran pretty good. And I think it was like 200 bucks. You can't really go wrong. Um, blue bowl's a lot cheaper. Uh, and you don't have that problem when you get the blue the gold out of there. So that is a, a thing I like about the blue bowl a little bit more. But we'll be using this on a couple more videos. And I uh, wanted to thank you for, for joining us. And we'll weigh up the gold here and see what we got. And uh, thanks for watching. Right in there, that's what those threads, that's where the gold was getting stuck. And it got stuck all in here too, which is great. <laughs> the camera hates this green. <laughs> all right, well, that's crazy. That's pretty much the same as the blue bowl. There's a little bit of sands mixed in there. You can see that, some really heavy sands, but it's actually just right on top and underneath it. It's just pretty much all gold. But pretty on par with the blue bowl this is like the hardest pay dirt that i've been encountering uh it's up there with kinkies for sure but this is in a class of its own just because of the the weight of the material but uh yeah we're gonna run that a few more times i could have just dumped all this stuff back on the table and swept it all back in but overall i think it's a it's an okay product definitely some room for improvement um but for 200 bucks i don't think you can go wrong uh, especially if I'm cleaning up gold more in the size of something like this, you know It's a little bit bigger easier to clean up and I was running the first little batch of that way too much of an angle so learning curve Great product uh, well worth the money. I'll post a link in the description. Thanks guys to the toots Count it down Five.